Today we begin Module 6 for Social Media Marketing. Um, module 6 focuses on paid advertising uh, on social media. Um, but before we dive in, let's catch up a little bit where we've been so far. Um, in this course, we've discussed how brands are using social media organically um, to market to their customers. And social media advertising works best as part of a cohesive social media strategy. And so we're going to talk about how brands are beginning to incorporate paid marketing on some of the biggest social media platforms. And we're going to focus specifically on some of the social media, social networking platforms that we've discussed already in class today. Um, we're going to begin our conversation with a very generalized look at some best practices for purchasing social ads and setting up social campaigns. And once we have the basics covered, we're going to take a look at social advertising on each of the social networking platforms that we've covered. So we'll take a little bit of a deep dive. Um, we are going to go outside of our textbook um, for this module. So there are no textbook readings, and you probably noticed that on the course calendar. Um, we are going to use Linda videos. Uh, to kind of have a different perspective um, on this topic. And each of you already has access to Linda uh, through your Georgia College account. And so if you don't know what Linda is, Linda is actually um, a social media platform uh, that holds video content, and it's owned and operated by LinkedIn. Uh, but anyway, each of you has access to Linda through Georgia College. Um, you can link to Linda through your Unify account, um, and you can also use the links that I've provided to you in this module to go directly to the correct playlist for each of the topics we're discussing. Um, in order for those links to work, however, you do have to be logged in to Unify, um, and that will allow you to access the videos. So if you have trouble um, along the way, contact me or contact ideas, but you do all have access to the videos we're going to use. Given that we are using just the Linda videos and no textbook readings, you're going to see that we have a lot of these PowerPoint lecture contents. I think there's part, we go up to part eight or nine. Um, they're much shorter than what you usually have. So each one kind of introduces a social media, social networking platform from an ad perspective and then gives an example of a uh, paid advertising campaign on that network. So you'll kind of get the flow of things as we start walking through these individual um, platforms. Uh, but let's get right to it. So let's talk about the value of social advertising. And when we talk about social media advertising, we are talking about that paid advertising on social media sites. Um, when using organic uh, social media marketing, your message can easily reach any individual who's following your brand on that specific platform. But what about all the people on that platform who aren't following your brand? Uh, social ads done right can really help get your ads in front of the people who are most likely to be interested in your product, even if they're not already following your brand. So the point here is to reach people who have been identified as a match to your brand based on common interests. And we can get all of that data through these social networking platforms because as you know, Social platforms collect a lot of data about their users by monitoring their profile pages. Um, brands can easily use that information to create very targeted paid campaigns. Um, so when it's a necessity um, for brands to use paid social media advertising, they have to create profiles on most of these sites, and their content already has to be being shared organically. Uh, and then they can get into this paid um, realm. Uh, but a couple of just general best practices here. Haphazard advertising on social media platforms is not going to be effective. Um, a well-defined social strategy with clear objectives has to already be in place before you can begin paying for social media advertising. And most paid campaigns are expanding upon uh, an organic foundation that a brand has already been very active on social media before they go this route. Um, the foundation um, is essential because your social media team at your organization already knows how to handle a lot of the activity. But what's really important when you move into the paid social media advertising realm is that you really have to be prepared to handle an increase in your activity and be prepared to respond to all engagements and feedbacks. And with paid campaigns, um, those will increase. 
So there's a couple questions that uh, a company needs to ask and consider before purchasing ads on social platforms. And the first is really you have to determine what your ad is going to say. Um, it's very important that the content of your ad continues to align with your goals and objectives. A second question um, is who is your audience going to be? And understanding who your audience is uh, helps you choose which platform to be on. And it also helps you choose um, when and how often you should be posting. Um, a third thing to consider is the action you wish your customers to take. Um, if you want your customers to visit your website, then you need to make sure your website is up to date. If you want your customers to enroll in an email campaign, you better have some preset emails ready to go. So when the customer gives you your email address, their email address, you have some content for them in return. If you want them to shop now, you better make sure that your online storefront is up to date. Uh, and then another thing to consider is how you're going to actually measure success of paid advertising programs. Um, a lot of times brands are already monitoring and we're going to talk about monitoring and measuring in, in module seven, uh, but they're already monitoring and measuring their organic accounts on face on social platforms. And so they'll often use those organic platforms uh, as a benchmark um, as to how many views, how many visits, how many likes, how many engagements, etc. And then understanding uh, what's happening there, you can use those to measure whether or not the paid campaigns were successful. Uh, but it is important to remember that the goal of running paid ads is to drive meaningful action and engagement from a pool of well-targeted prospects. So you are really targeting a select group of people and you are hoping that you can drive them to complete an action or engage with your brand. So those are some general practices, a little introduction to paid social media advertising. Um, now we're going to move into each of the individual social networking platforms and how advertisers use those to reach customers. And the first one is Facebook. So when we talk about Facebook advertising, um, as you remember, Facebook is very marketer friendly. And today they have the, the most robust tool for marketers to use in terms of paid social advertising. And that makes it very, very easy for brands to use and to target potential customers. Um, and this is due in large part because Facebook collects the most data on their members. And so you're actually going to um, watch six videos in Linda, and the names of those videos are right here, and there is a link to this playlist in the Georgia View module. Um, they're about 24 minutes long, and they're going to explain the details of how brands set up paid advertising campaigns on Facebook and discuss some best practices of using Facebook ads.